Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. I will be using the new Glitter Bomb palette from Too Faced Cosmetics. I did not know what I was going for with this makeup look, but this is what I came up with and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely do want to do more looks using this palette because I think it's so beautiful and I do want to go in and use the pinks that are in there as well. Yeah, this is the look that we're going to be doing today. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you are interested in learning how to create this makeup look then just please keep on watching for primer I'm going to be using the Too Faced hangover primer this one actually has replaced my smashbox photo finish primer I've been using that primer forever now here on my channel but this primer really really does keep your makeup on the entire day literally sticks onto your face so I highly do recommend this primer and the last product I'm going to be using to prep the face, I'm going to be using this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. For foundations, I'm going to be using NC20 and NC30 from MAC. These are the Studio Fix Fluid Foundations. And I'm also going to be blending them all out with this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Concealer in 1.0 and also the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. To set the entire face and also the under eye area, I'm going to be using the new Too Faced Born This Way Setting Powder, which has been my favorite at the moment. To contour the face, I'm going to be using this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Deep Medium Matte Bronzer. Not only do I love this bronzer because of the way that it works, but it also smells so freaking good. Like, I want to eat it every time I apply this to my face. To warm up my face a little bit more, I'm going to be using this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Dark Tan. And I'm going to be using my favorite blush or bronzing brush. This is the Morphe M555. This powder actually reminds me of the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. But I think this one is just a little bit darker, obviously. But then sometimes I feel like it's the same thing, honestly. Like, I don't, I really can't tell the difference. Dark Tan and Give Me Sun look so, so, so similar. Since I did run out of my peach blush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to be using this one instead from the 35O palette as my blush. The cool thing with eyeshadows to you guys is that you really don't necessarily have to use them for eyeshadow. You can use them for contour, highlight, blush. I mean, that's what I used to do when I couldn't afford like an actual highlight palette or a highlight powder. Like I would just buy a palette that would have everything that I needed and I would just use that to do my whole entire face. All right guys, so this is the palette we're going to be using today. This is the star of the show today. I'm super excited to be trying this out. This is the new Too Faced Glitter Bomb Palette. I'm not exactly sure what look I'm going to be doing today with this palette. I'm just going to wing it out and see what I come up with. But of course, I did want to show you guys how this palette looks like inside. So this is how the inside looks like. It does come with eight different shadows glitter shadows and it also comes with a brightening base and also an intensifying base depending how you like your makeup looks to look you can definitely use the brightening base for a more brighter softer look and the intensifying one for a more dramatic darker look with these shadows you can use these wet or dry i am definitely going to be using them both ways today just to see how they work either wet or dry. I usually wet all of my shimmer shadows. I never really just apply them dry ever to my eye because I mean I want the most pigmentation that I can get from shadows every time. Alright so the first palette I'm going to go in with is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to actually be using my Morphe E27 brush that I haven't used in a while to blend out my transition color. I am going to be using Salted Caramel which is this one right here and we're just going to be applying this all over the entire crease, the inner corner, and also the outer corner as well. Alright, so going back in with the chocolate bar palette, I'm going to be taking this one right here. This one is called Semi-Sweet. 
with this semi-sweet eyeshadow, I do mainly want to focus this on the outer corner, but I am dragging the rest that I have on my brush into the inner corner. All right, so going in with the Too Faced Bon Bon Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm going to be using this one right here. This one is called Bordock. And I'm going to be blending this all out again into the outer corner. Ooh, this eyeshadow is really pretty. And dragging it into the inner corner as well. Don't worry if you are getting shadow on your lid because I am going to be cleaning that up. So it's going to be a really defined crease. At least that's what I'm going for. All right, and the last shadow I'm going to be using for the inner corner just a little bit since we are going to be applying that teal shade. This one is called Earl Grey. And we're just going to be applying that a little bit here on the outer corner to blend in with that teal shade that we're going to be using. So I do wanna see how these work without any base at all. I was thinking about using Max Soft Ochre Paint Pod to cut the crease a little bit and use that as a base, but I really do just want to see how these work on their own. First dry and then we can use them wet if we do need more pigmentation. I'm going to be using Oh It's On, this one right here first for the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to be using this teal kind of shade. This one is called Splash and I'm going to be using that for the middle of my lid. Alright, we're going to use it dry first and I'm just going to take it. It does say to apply with your fingers but it's not going to work out for me today because... Your girl got some nails and it's not going to work out good. Applying this on the inner corner. So with these eyeshadows, it also does say you can use their glitter glue to ensure the, eye, the glitter onto the lid. But I'm not sure if I want to do that either. I mean, I'll try it, of course, just to see if it'll give it more pigmentation. Um, right now, it's giving me... Oh, not that much, but it's definitely there. It's not like it's not there at all. It's definitely there, and it looks really pretty. We're going to try it wet now, and then on this side, I, I will try the glue. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Fix Plus on this brush. Oh, yes. It definitely gave it a lot more pigment. That's for sure. Yes, it did. Oh my god, do you guys see that? Oh wow, yeah. You see, I am definitely going to be using these wet for sure. I just feel like with any shimmer shadow or duochrome shadows, they definitely work best when they're wet. At least for me, they just give me some, so much more life, seriously. It could be the best one in the entire world, but I will still make sure to wet it because it just makes it that much more beautiful, pigmented, and amazing. All right, so on this side, I'm going to try and use the glue first and then apply the shadow. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie because I don't want this to mess up my look, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to give it a try to see if it makes any difference. There's nothing on my brush either. I took the other. Okay, so I'm just going to try that little part right there. I don't want to do the whole lid because what if it goes wrong? So I'm just going to... Oh, yes. It worked, you guys. It worked. Oh, yeah. It worked. All right, so I did finish both of the eyes already, and I do have to say I loved using the glitter glue better than I did using the MAC Fix Plus. It made a huge difference with the glue. I feel like with the glue, the actual glitter particles you can still be able to see. Uh, as opposed to the wet side, it kind of just glided on, so it just looked like a very, you know, 
it just looked very not that you know wow you can really see the glitter and you know the point of this palette is to be able to see the glitter since it's glitter shadows but I do definitely do recommend using the glitter glue instead with these shadows I think you will get the best results try it out I think you guys were, are really really gonna love it so now I'm just going to be using the teal shade and I'm going to be applying that on the outer corner Alright, so I am adding a little bit of this intensifying base on the outer corner just a little bit to kind of give this look more definition and just to kind of blend out that outer corner as well. Now I'm just going to be cleaning up the edges here underneath my eyes with this Studio Fix Powder from MAC. This is the NC20 and I'm just going to be grabbing a very, not a very flat brush, but a flat brush powder brush like this one and I'm just gonna clean that up I am going to be doing liner for this makeup look although I'm not going to be doing it very intense and super thick like I normally would because I don't want to take away from the eyeshadow that we just did so I'm mainly going to focus on the wing here on the outer corner so I am going to be using this one this one is the NYX matte liquid liner And for lashes, I'm going to be using these right here. These are called Toxic and they are from Slay Lashes. And I'm also going to be using this orange shade right here as well from the 35-0 matte palette. Just to bring a little bit more warmth into the lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with this one right here as well. And the last shadow I'm going to be using for the lower lash line is this one right here. For liner, I'm going to be using this NYX gel liner and I'm going to be applying that on the top lash line and on the lower lash line as well. For the inner corner, I'm going to be using Fairy Dust from the Glitter Bomb palette. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Illuminate palette from Sephora and I'm going to be taking this one right here and this one. And I'm also going to be applying it with my favorite highlighting brush. This one is from Morphe. This is the M501. So I ended up just doing my per usual combo at the moment, the Cool Girl and Holy Chic um, liquid lipsticks from Too Faced and yeah I really do love this combo and last but not least I'm going to be spraying more of this hangover 3-in-1 setting spray to keep my makeup intact of course my personal thoughts for the glitter bomb palette I definitely think it's worth it I think the pigmentation definitely works really really well if you do use the glitter glue with the shadow, I have to say, with the intensifying base and also the brightening base. I don't personally think I would ever use those just because I think it is really hard to use them, especially because they're powders. I think the best results you would get if you are trying to use a brightening base or, a, or an intensifying base is if you do use a black gel liner or a white gel liner and then apply the shadow on top. I think those will be a much better result. I think it's definitely worth it if you are just a very creative person You want to play around with different things. I think this palette is definitely for you, but that was pretty much it I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so 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 much for watching And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys